Okay, so everyone in this video will show you how you can diagnose a no brake light problem. You see, every time you step on the brake, regardless if the engine is running or not, if the key is turned on or not, your brake light should turn on every time you step on the brake. And as you can see, no brake light is working. Not the left, not the right. So I will not just show you how to fix the problem, but I will show you how to diagnose in order to find out what's really causing the problem. Because I've seen a post on a Facebook group wherein someone was asking for help, he said one of his brake lights is not working. And there was one who said replace the battery, another one said it's the fuse, no doubt about it, another one said just replace the bulb. So we do not just do that, okay? We do not just replace without confirming. Like I always say, it's okay to assume, but we must verify that assumption. So first things first, we need to identify the symptoms. See, on this vehicle, both brake lights are not working. On this vehicle, the problem is only one brake light is working, okay? See that? The other one is working, the other one isn't. So let's start with this vehicle first. So the problem is electrical. It has something to do with our lights, particularly our brake lights. So the symptom is absolutely no brake lights for this vehicle. So I have here a rough diagram of our vehicle's electrical system, okay? So let's start with the battery. This is the body of our vehicle. And like I've said in this video, the body of our vehicle, as long as it is metal or conducts electricity, will make up the negative circuit okay so for the negative very simple just connected to the body as well as the engine now for the positive you have one thick wire directly connected to the starter motor and you have another positive wire connected to the fuse the key switch fuse relays and to the electrical components now for our brake light instead of a relay we have a brake light switch okay so right from the get-go we can already rule this one out so it's the same with this open door light indicator okay you see it doesn't pass through a relay so maybe one of these days i will make a video about relays okay how it works and what it is for now don't get me wrong okay this is just a rough diagram just so we will have a basic understanding so we can conduct a process of elimination so we will now identify possible causes battery fuse key switch foot brake switch bulbs terminals and wirings and we are now going to conduct a process of elimination so let's start with the battery okay now question are you able to start your engine is your vehicle running are your headlights working is the radio working the ac working if yes then we can rule out the battery so x so now let's move on to the fuse so like i've said in this diagram we have a fuse here and also a fuse here okay i will show you so we have one main fuse here as you can see see head this is for the headlamp and we have another series of fuse here okay so is there something wrong with this fuse let's see let's turn this on okay and we have this light working we have the headlight working and we have the tail light working if we will disconnect this okay disconnect that see that turned off i will try to connect that again okay see and it turned on again so now we are sure there's no problem with this fuse so now let's move on to this set of fuse okay so if we look at here you see stop and horn and this that is this one let's take that out oh, first let's try the horn so there's nothing wrong with this fuse okay let's take that out and the horn goes away put that back in so there's nothing wrong with this fuse so now we can rule this one out x okay so let's move on to key switch so is the key switch the problem no like i've said your brake light should work regardless if it's turned on or not it should work okay so in this case we can rule this one out now that leaves us with foot brake bulbs terminals and wirings now just so you know there's an electrical switch connected to our foot brake that turns our brake lights on and off okay and i will try to show you that if i can hold on okay so you see that that is our brake light switch see if i press that that's gonna release and that should turn on our brake lights you release the brake that's going to turn it off press it that's going to turn it on okay so that is our brake light switch. 
So before we try to get this, okay, let's check the bulb first. Let me take out this cover, okay? Okay, so now this is our tail light as well as our brake light. This is an 1157 bulb, double contact, okay, meaning double contact, double filament. Now just by looking at this valve, I can already say that there is nothing wrong with this, okay? As you can see, both filaments are not burned or broken. But just the same, we can confirm by using this multimeter with a continuity test, okay? It should beep. Touch it here, and it should beep on this contact. That means, and see, it beeps here, it beeps here. That means there is continuity with the circuit, so there's nothing wrong with this bulb. Now, if you don't have this one, you can check that using this wire and the battery of the vehicle, okay? This is the positive. Put this side on the negative, okay? And then double contact. Let's try this contact first. And as you can see, it lights up. Let's try this one. And as you can see, it lights up, see? So no problem with this valve. So now, even without checking this one, we can now rule this one out. So that leaves us with only two foot brake switch as well as terminals and wirings. So in order for us to check either this is the one that's causing the problem or this one, let's get down underneath the brake foot pedal and you see that switch. Oh, sorry, okay. I'll try to give you a much more better look. Let's try to disconnect this wiring harness, okay manage to disconnect that okay see these are our wiring harness so what i will do now in order to confirm if it's the foot brake switch is use this wire and connect one here and one here and should that light up we can now confirm that there's a problem with our switch and as you can see it is lighting up you see? so now considering when we use this wire our brake light turned on we can now roll this one out which leaves us the culprit foot brake switch see okay so now let's try to take this switch out just that lock nut 14 mm okay sorry if the now we can try to turn this by hand, you see that? See? Just like that. Okay, so that is long in order for you to be able to adjust the height of the switch, you see? That is what this lock nut is for also. Okay, so there's our brake light switch, okay? Now, in this position, it should turn on the brake lights in this position it should turn off okay let me just try to do that okay maybe that will work let's see again in this position is in the continuity test it should beep okay that means the brake lights are turned on and it's beeping i'm going to press that see it turned off and it's beeping so there's nothing actually wrong you see it's beeping again turned off beeping so there's nothing wrong with this switch maybe just a little bit of dirt got inside but i'll just open this up just to satisfy your curiosity so let's twist this the pair of pliers okay so it's opened up now let me try and pull that out with a vice grip and okay okay so there it is okay. should we put this there it should beep and it, it does now the way this thing works is this plunger okay you see that you see that that pushes down on this okay and that disconnects the circuit turning off your brake lights you see that contact that contacts this plate and that contacts that plate every time that is depressed that disconnects it turning off your foot brake so this is what's inside the plunger okay just this plunger spring this sort of rubber seal let me push that back in okay and that's just that 
so there's really nothing wrong with this brake except maybe try to twist that okay just so it will touch the this connecting plate some more let's confirm with our continuity test and it should light up let's do that here as well and it is let's assemble this let me push that in okay okay so let's confirm again before we lock that in place it's locking and it's turned off turning on turning off turning on turning off so confirm now we can twist this okay or crimp this whichever term you prefer just so the entire assembly won't come off again let's confirm no problem turn off no problem turn off let me install back the brake light i'm gonna make sure that the plunger is all the way pushed in okay that means that is the off position now before i would bother to tighten down the lock nut i will reconnect the wiring harness and let's see if that solves our problem sorry about the camera okay so now should we step on our brake our brake light should turn on and as you can see it is turning on so now i can finally lock this lock nut down okay just like that so now let's move on to this vehicle okay like i've shown earlier this brake light here is not working but this is so let's conduct the same process of illumination okay like i've said it is only the right that is not working so let's start with the battery other electrical components are working headlights ac radio etc is working so we can rule out the battery now the fuse i can already rule out the fuse i won't even bother to check is why because only the right is not working because if the fuse is bad both should not be working so we can rule this one out okay now key switch like i said earlier your brake should turn on regardless if the key switch is on or not okay foot brake switch so you see that that is the foot brake switch on this toyota innova vehicle so we can rule this one out too why because like i said it is only the right that is not working if the foot brake is not is bad just like the fuse both left and right should not be working okay so we can rule this one out now that leaves us bulb and terminal or wirings so open the rear door two 10 mm bolts here okay okay that's one and that's two take that out requires a little bit of wiggling okay so these are wiring harness get yourself a small flathead screwdriver try to lift this up just slide and then pull that one out see very easy now considering that these are brake light as well as our tail light this is the valve twist that pull that one out and let's take a look at the valve okay and there it goes again just by looking at this valve it looks intact so i don't see anything wrong the filaments are intact it's not burned it's not broken let's confirm confirm with our continuity test okay continuity test beep here it's beeping and it's beeping so confirm there's nothing wrong with our valve if we're going to go back here like i said we can now crush this one out there's nothing wrong with our valve so that leaves us terminal and wirings so what you need to do now is to have someone to step on the brake or maybe you can just use a piece of pipe but press it up against the chair and move the chair forward to press the brake so just like that as you can see we have brake light here and now we're going to confirm if we're going to have a 12 volt output in one of these terminals so let's you we'll use our multimeter dc voltage like i've said entire body of the vehicle is negative negative here let's do that one by one nothing 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 and then there's our 11.4 volts so meaning there is signal 12 volts coming out of here this is our brake light volt okay so now we are sure that it is not the wirings okay 
at least the wirings, maybe the terminal. So what I'm going to do now is reconnect the tail light assembly, okay? Just plug that in, just like that. Repeat the same process, step on the brake. Okay, so brake light on here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to check if this terminal is bad now. Be, be careful not to short this probe with this negative as well as that too, okay? That is positive, so negative here. Let's try this one, and let's try this one. And as you can see, we're getting a reading of 11.5 volts, okay? Don't know if you can see that. Let me do that again, okay? Negative here, and see, 11.5. So let's go back to this one. We can now rule out bad terminal. So no problem there. So ultimately, the reason for our brake light not working is just bad contact. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to dis disconnect this wiring harness again. Okay. And I will just clean this terminal using this wire brush as well as this mini grinder. Now, the reason I disconnected this to this wiring harness, okay, is because if we're going to use this to brush this, okay, we're going to short things out. Now, we did not disconnect the battery, okay, so that is just a precautionary measure, okay. So, remember, disconnect the wiring harness, okay, in order to avoid shorting things out. Okay, so I'll just slightly brush the inside. Maybe you can give this a brush too. Okay. Just like that. So let's plug this in. Okay. And let's reconnect the wiring harness. Okay. Just like that. And let's see if this is going to light up should we press on the brake. Okay, so same procedure. Step on the brake. Move the seat forward. And as you can see, we have brake light here. And we have our brake light there. So release. So we can now move this light inside its housing and twist to lock it in. We can now put the tail light assembly back in place. One last check before we bolt it in. Same procedure. Check our brake lights. It's lighting here and it's lighting there. So we can now finally bolt this back in. Okay, so that's done. So there you go, you see, I did not spend a single cent, I did not replace a single part, I did not waste money. So perhaps there are those of you who would say, hey, bulbs are cheap and there's no problem replacing it, okay? But that is not the point of this video. What I would like to emphasize in this video is conduct a process of elimination because this is just one problem. I really see this common, especially in Facebook groups, okay? They encounter a problem and then they will just replace parts, they will replace this and that, and then the problem is still there. So like I always say, it's okay to assume, but verify that assumption. So I do believe I'm going to end this here. I do believe that's it for this video. So I hope you found this helpful and informative, enjoyable even. If you do, let me know in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, like, share, subscribe if you want to, okay? Only if you want to, and as always, thank you for watching.